Right. <laughs> it's like completely two different personalities right here. But hello there. We're back with another episode of Hollywood Rundown. I know for once I'm wearing all black and you're wearing I know, like I just what? stopped wearing black for a minute because, you know, why not? I should wear a drop of color every now and then. So there you go. It's blue. And it's big. That's going up on my Yeah, that, that was, uh, who is this? Uh, Nikki Star. <laughs> oh, we don't know. We don't know. Oh, oh, wait. I was gonna say something inappropriate, but I realized <laughs> I can't. We are on a uh, video, YouTube videos. Hey, we can still hear that. Bye. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Hollywood Rundown. It's me, Sasha. And uh, <laughs> this is Scarlett Jones. It's Scarlett. Yeah, I don't know where she's going. We're gonna be talking about from. a lot today. We're gonna be talking about the Met Gala. The Met Gala. Some other drama. That is right, drama. I'm going to add a little bit of bit of bit of bit of bit of bit of spice. Okay, right, got it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, we're gonna start off with Met Gala. The most daring looks. Number one. It's Jared Leto! I, I like, like it. it! I loved it. I don't know why people think it's so stupid, but I like no. it. No! He love was it. so adorable. Like the cat, he was hugging Lizzo, was yeah. playing with Anne Hathaway. We didn't know the Met Gala theme this time. It was very different from the mm -hmm. usual themes. Blake Lively didn't show up. Some other people as well. But I was so waiting for Blake Lively because, you know, her outfits are so she, amazing. Uh, she's queen of Met Gala. You know, her whole thing of matching I her know. outfit with the carpets. I kind of missed her this time because she would have killed it. I kind of miss Zendaya. I miss mm -hmm. Harry Styles. Tom I Holland. miss Tom Holland. That's yeah. true. I miss uh, Bella Hadid. Bella, Bella Hadid, Hadid was not that I miss Selena Gomez. So oh, that oh. bunny though, I loved his. It was like mm -mm, he go was off, like, queen. Yeah. Look at the back <laughs> with his like hands like this. I was like, did you and Kendall like switch like like okay. switch personalities? Like I what know. is happening? But I did know. not like Kim's dress. I'll be very honest with you, Kim's. I did not like it. Kim's dress was very boring. It was very why. <laughs> And also her dress kind of, you know, had a malfunction. So pearls. yeah, like her pearls were all over the place. That was towards the end of the night, like the pearls yeah. were everywhere. And you know, Northwest was actually going around collecting. She's like, oh ma, don't. That is but, true. That was <laughs> but I didn't like that. I'm not gonna lie. Jenny did her debut. Well, yeah. her teammate Rosie did that before yeah. the year. So I was just like, okay, that's nice. That's well, nice Doja Cat did her debut as well. And she Jackson came. Jackson Wang. He yes, up. and who else was there? Doja uh, Cat came as a cat. <laughs> cat, like a proper cat. And, <laughs> and I think yeah, a lot of people were like slamming her because of her look, because of the prosthetics. But I like, you it. know, it's, it's, you know, it's she different. just went for a different look and it's her. She is weird. Did you know she did not talk an entire interview? Every time she was asked a question, she was like, meow. I love that. I meow, love meow. an unbothered queen. I love her too. That's so nice. And there was another surprise guest, but uh, some say that his dreams was quashed. Oh. It was a cockroach. Oh. I saw that video. I was like, <laughs> what is a cockroach doing on like the red carpet with all those A-listers? He wanted spotlight. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> like all over the place. <laughs> I'm still sad that Blake didn't show up. Yeah, same here. I kind of miss her. Oh, Not kind of, I miss her so much. I didn't miss Zendaya. Yeah. Kylie's dress, I liked it, but I didn't like the blue on it. You know, she was... I felt like she wore the bathrobe, and I was like, mm. You know, this time, the Jenners and the Kardashians, they were very low-key. They were very low-key. But Kendall's Jenner, uh, Kendall Jenner's one was um, a little dramatic because it has a, a train. But I liked it too. It's okay. It's it's fine. I thought I thought it was just a bathing suit. And I was like, but but but, good. Gigi Hadid. He did. She did great. Gigi Hadid was so beautiful. Not just that. Um, even um, Billie Eilish. Yep. I liked the make, lace. Phineas was so good as well. Yeah. I was just like, no. Oh. Yes, Queens. that was so beautiful. And not just that, um, Rita Ora, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. she was there as well with husband Tiger Wadidi. And yeah. uh, they were beautiful as well. They were really gorgeous. 
Nick Jonas, Prager Chopra. Yeah. They really look good. And who else? Who else? We had a lot of people. Do we miss out on any you? Mm. Ava Max! Right. Look, we both are very opposites when it comes to that because I thought she was wearing a wedding dress and she liked it. I was like, wow, she looked like a snow princess. <laughs> but uh, Dua Lipa was the Dua real was princess. She that. wore this uh, necklace mm -hmm. that was actually worn by Audrey Hepburn um, in 1960s. Okay. So there was like a huge diamond. It was worth a lot of money. So. Still talking about the Met Gala. Yeah, still, we're still at Met Gala. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Right, Pete Davidson uh, and Kim Kardashian, they bounced into each other and they were very friendly. Yeah, I, like I'm, uh, I can never do that. I know, like, I can never do that too. Like, I'd be like, yeah, you wanna fight? I'll just probably just be like, <laughs> yeah, so this is what you miss out on. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> and then he's probably just gonna what? be like right great thank god <laughs> i just feel bad for myself but i really like the fact that they're actually you know good friends and of yeah. course pete got the opportunity to like this kim and snl but now it's like cancelled a whole lot of drama which is like spiraling my brain yeah because all the writers are on strike in the u.s so yep. there you go everything is cancelled but even the late late shows guys Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, Stefan, okay, I don't know what this Yeah, is. a lot of people, like lot. technically all the shows, but you know, the guys from uh, House of Dragons, uh, they say, you know, we are unbothered queens because uh, season two is uh, working, right? And we don't care about the writer. He already wrote it, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't know, I was what like, dragon? dragon? Yeah. <laughs> like, I was like, what? <laughs> I don't think that's a dragon, I think that was a cat. I don't know what that was, but that was something. <laughs> Yeah, so be yes. friends with your exes. Be nice if your partner is okay with it. Oh, because you know, it's, it's not okay sometimes. It's not. Life lesson 101. I've experienced it. <laughs> okay, that's it. Right. So we're moving from the Mets to Ed. Ed. And yeah, that guy is going through a lot. I know, I feel bad. So, Did you know when his wife, like the news broke out that his wife was having issues with health related stuff, uh, he went down to the basement and wrote seven songs just for her. And that's how he copes. Seven songs and still they blame him for copyright. I'm just like... He's an amazing writer. He's a great singer, right? And I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, Ed Townsend and his uh, family, I think they just want some cash. Jail! Because uh, Ed Sheeran actually said that if he's found of, uh, found guilty from this entire copyright trial, that he's gonna quit music because he's like, I did so much to build my career, I don't want somebody else diminishing it, so I'm just gonna walk away. So kind of feel sorry though. I hope he doesn't though. Yeah. He's gonna miss the bomb blasting of Ed Sheeran. <gasps> I'm dancing with my eyes closed. Okay, okay, let me not sing because whoever's gonna watch this is just gonna walk away. Do you remember the time when uh, Selena was going through lupus? Yes. And she had a lot of issues with her kidney? Yes. I don't know if it's this side or this side, even though I did science. So I'm going to pretend as if I know. Okay. Right? But still, after all of that, um, you know, after everything, uh -huh. she was asked a question once where, you know, who her best friend is in the industry was. And she didn't even take a second and just said Taylor Swift. Okay. And then after all of that, all the fans are just like, what about Francis? She gave you the kidney and you still have the right to say Taylor Swift. She didn't do anything. She was there with you in the hospital. Yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. And after that, everybody was like, they're angry because, you know, they were not talking and Francia didn't give any statement. And recently when she was going out on a walk, paparazzi caught her and was just like, 
How are you and Selena? Are you guys still friends? And then she just avoided the question by saying, Oh, what a nice Sunday. What, what a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. It's so great. And then she just Ouch. walked away. Ouch. So imagine you have a friend doing that. Okay, so they're technically not in good terms according to certain people and you know like looking at all the interviews well It yeah. seems like that because you know even when uh, the paparazzi ask uh, Francia like okay uh, Would you um, you know go ahead and do such a thing or would you educate people on this subject? And she would be like yeah, actually I would uh, you know let anybody know about this and educate them But I'm not gonna you know um, do anything else. I'm not gonna talk about Selena, so there you go. I kind of feel bad. I kind of feel bad for her too. I don't know yeah, what's she going gave a on. Kidney. You're bothering me, just going on. Oh, yeah, that's Nikki Star, by the way. She's annoying. <laughs> she Bye. But you get what I'm saying, right? I think it kind of hurt her as well mm -hmm. because you know, she did give a lot. Yeah, true. and for her, Selena to not even take a second and just be like, Well, I have so many. Mm -hmm. Instead, she was just like, Taylor Swift. Yeah, true. Like, I know you've been friends for a long time, but also, you know. Like, sound. during one of these award shows, she actually did give Francia the credits that she deserved. She was like, I wouldn't be here without her. Yeah, yeah But sure. then, um, she, I kind of have a feeling she's kind of forgotten the whole story. Yeah. Well, that's about it, Lamaini. We are going to go now. Yeah, I'm going to go now because... And yes. also reminding you that Mother's Day is coming up. Feel your mother, feel appreciated. Don't do stupid things. And we have amazing competitions for you to tune in now to 98997. Feel your mother, let her feel her appreciated. She done so much for you. You are a little ungrateful if you don't do. Take part, call us now. 11234 Or you can WhatsApp us on 772 <laughs> I don't know what do this now. is. I'm but... trying to be mother here. Yeah, you sound just like my mom though. Exactly. Make your mom feel appreciated. You are ungrateful little boys <laughs> and girls. That's what I was going to say, definitely. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about sort of I'm super mom, so go ahead, nominate your mom and crown her. Uh, with that, sometimes I'm super mom. This is happening for the 13th consecutive year. So there you go. Well, we are loving it here, and so your mom will think that you appreciate her. So do that. But I'm not be ungrateful, please. I'm going to leave my mom here. Yeah. This mom. We'll catch you again for the next episode of Hollywood Rundown. Yeah, I kind of lost count down. also. So, yeah, in the next episode. Okay. Hope you enjoyed the video. Okay. Leave like, subscribe and also click on little bell. So, you will be notified every time we upload videos. Okay, ma. Right. Okay. okay, okay. Right. You go. You take care of the mother. Okay. Bye. Until next time. This is what I'm saying. Ungrateful little boys and girls. Get your mother. Into Super Mario.